Hello, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So this uh, wants us to write prism, pyramid, cone, cylinder, or sphere. Well, out of those, this would definitely be a prism. This looks just like an ice cream cone. Pyramid. Okay, same thing. Pyramid. Okay. Oh, but it wants for us to, to name a solid figure. So this would be a triangular pyramid. And this, the bottom has five, so it would be a pentagonal. Okay. And this, this looks like a can tipped on its side, so it is a cylinder. I absolutely spelled that wrong. Sorry, guys. That's an I, not an A. Again, just like that one. So it's a prism, but it's a rectangle, so it is a rectangular prism. Okay, looks just like an ice cream cone. And this has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, makes, making it a hexagonal prism. Okay. All right. Darian is making a solid figure out of folded paper. His solid figure has six congruent sides, congruent faces, sorry, that are all squares. What solid figure did Darian make? Well, if he made a six figured, or sorry, six congruent faces, so it's just like this, but they're all squares which means it would just be shorter, which would make it a cube. Okay, Nanako said she drew a square pyramid and all of the faces are triangles. Is that possible? So, no, because the bottom face would be a square. All right. We have four sides, not three. Okay. So we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, and we're going to go down to the spiral review. So Laura walks three fifths of a mile to school each day. Isaiah's walk to school is three times as long as Laura's. How far does Isaiah walk? So three fifths, and his is three times as longer. I'm going to put that three over a one. And I can't cross cancel anything, so I'm just going to multiply straight across. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and 5 times 1 is 5, but now I have a top that's bigger than the bottom. So 5 would go into 9 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4, and my denominator stays the same. 1 and 4 fifths of a mile. James has four and three quarters feet of rope. He plans to cut one and a half feet from the rope. How much rope will he have left? Okay, so four and three quarters minus one and a half. Well, in order to do this, I need both of my denominators to be the same, okay? So the smallest number that two and four both go into is gonna be four. So I'm gonna have to multiply this by two and this by two. So now I'm gonna have four and three quarters minus one and two fourths. Okay, so now four minus one is three, three minus two is one, and my denominator stays the same. Okay, Latasha made 128 ounces of punch. How many cups of punch did Latasha make? Okay, so 128 ounces. There are eight ounces in one cup. So now I can cross cancel ounces, which gives me cups, which is good. 
and I'm going to have to divide 128 by 8. Okay? Well, 8's not going to go into 1, but it'll go into 12 once. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract, get 4. 4 is smaller than 8, so I'm going to bring down this other 8. 8 goes into 48 6 times. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract is 0. So, 16 cups. Okay. Complete the following statement. Write sometimes, always, or never. Trapezoids are blank parallelograms. Well, here is a trapezoid. Okay. Eventually, those two sides are going to cross. That happens with every single trapezoid. So, never. Parallelograms have two sets of lines that will never cross. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 11.4. Come on back for 11.5. See you soon.